Imagine this, you saved up, you took your family on vacation, you went to Disney World, you wanted to take your two young children and your wife. You drove, you flew, had a great time, but you're exhausted and you just can't wait to get home and be in your own bed. Maybe you landed, got in the car and had a long drive home. It's dark. Kids fell asleep. Maybe you have one of them in your arms when you get out of the car and you're holding your daughter with her head on your shoulder. You get out of the car and you walk. And you walk up the driveway and you walk up the pathway. You get on your porch. You're pulling out your keys. You're getting your keys. You've got your daughter on your shoulder the keys in the door you open the door you start to walk in the house you hear something inside the lights are off, but the TV's on, and you're thinking to yourself, I know that we didn't leave the light on. You notice there's somebody on the couch. Right away, you think, hey, what are you, and you stop yourself, and you remember that you're holding your child, and you've got your wife and your daughter with you. You turn around, and you retreat outside. You take them outside, and you run out. You run outside to get some distance between you and whoever's sitting on your couch. You run out. You call the police and you tell them that you just got home with your family and there's somebody in your house. Somebody appeared to have broken in the house while you were on vacation. The police respond. They go into the house and they confront the intruder. After waiting a brief time, they come back outside and they say to you and your wife, the gentleman inside says he has a lease and that he belongs there. And you say, that's not possible. This is our house. We've been on vacation. That is not possible. I want to see the lease. The officer says, I'm sorry, but we can't ask him for a lease. This is a civil matter. You need to take him to civil court. You're upset. Your wife is upset. She's like, what are you talking about? This is our house. They're intruding. They broke in. They must have. You speak up and say, officer, what are you talking about? This is our house. Our kids are tired. We just want to go home. We want you to arrest him. The officer says, I'm sorry. He appears to be a squatter then, but this is a civil matter and beyond my control. I'm not allowed to ask him anything. He says he has a lease, so you have to take him to court. And you say, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with my family? And the officer says, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am. But you're gonna have to find a place to live while you battle them through court. This is devastating, and this could happen to you. And the email I'm gonna share with you is a family that this did happen to. Hi, this is Flash from Handyman Answers. Ever since my squatter video, people have been sharing stories with me, whether it's something to do with their home, a fire in a house, or a squatter story. And here's a story that I wanted to share with you that was sent to me by email. Hi, my family and I went on vacation a couple of years ago. My husband and I took our two daughters to Disney World and did the whole Disney cruise thing. What a wonderful trip, but we were exhausted when we arrived at home. When we entered the house, we found that a couple had made entry into our home and were squatting. 
My husband immediately rushed our kids and I out of the house and called the police. When the police arrived, the squatters informed them that they lived there and had a lease agreement. We automatically said that that's not possible. We want to see it. The police said that they were not able to demand a lease from them and that the only thing that they could do was inform us of their rights and said that this is a civil matter now moving forward. The worst part is that we were told that we couldn't enter the home and had to find another place to live while fighting in civil court to get our home back. Wow, that's, uh, that's absolutely devastating, I would imagine. We eventually did, but it took eight months and we estimate that it cost us around 80 to 90,000 for a rental property, court costs, attorney fees. And on top of that, we had to pay our mortgage and utility bills that they were occupying. Then after we finally got them out, they had destroyed, vandalizing the whole interior. It cost us over 30, 40 K in repairs. We came so close to losing our home and our family has been devastated. No one mentions the effect that this type of situation has on your kids. We now are more afraid to leave our house. Thank you for bringing so much attention to the squatter problem. Sincerely, signed on vacation. Um, the squatter problem is real. It can happen to you, it happened to me, it can happen to anyone. If you don't do anything else, Put cameras up. Be able to see and monitor your home, whether you're on vacation, it's a rental home, you're trying to sell the house. Don't rely on others solely. Don't rely on your neighbors. Your neighbors might not think that there is anything wrong. Your neighbors might just think that someone's visiting. They might not think anything is wrong. So don't rely on them. Get cameras up, monitor your house, monitor the situation so that if somebody moves into your home, you can catch them right away. You can get the police out there even before you come home. This is a problem. The laws allow, unfortunately, the laws allow squatters to take up residence, taking up court time, your time, forcing you to find your own place to live, they have rights, and sometimes you're going to feel like they have rights and you don't. In this situation, it certainly, I'm sure, appeared that way to them, considering they weren't even allowed to enter their home because that home, in the law's eyes, belonged now to the squatters. So they, holding his daughter, a tired family returning from vacation, had to find another place to stay while they battled them in court. That means... A rental house, an apartment, a hotel, an Airbnb, took them eight months. I can't express enough how important it is to change the laws. Have I figured out exactly what the law should be? No. I'm just trying to draw attention. I've created a petition and I need your help. I have so many people that reach out and say that there's a problem but I need you to actually sign a petition or do something positive to help with this. I can't do this effort on my own. I need assistance. If you wanna sign the petition, if you wanna to donate to help bring attention to the law changes, be, bring attention to the fact that squatting in some states isn't illegal, I wanna change the law and make it a national thing. Make it something that it doesn't matter what state you're in, your home is protected. Law enforcement can act. There are penalties and possible jail time to prevent the squatter from even being attracted to becoming a squatter in the first place. In the description, I'll have the link to the petition. I'll have a link to GoFundMe if you wanna to donate to help support bringing awareness to this. I wanna thank this family for sharing if you have a story, whether it's a squatter story or a handyman story or a contractor story or, 
or just something that happened with your home or within, within the guidelines of your home, around your home, in your home, and you want to share, whether you want it to be anonymous or you want to say who you are and provide pictures and video, send it in to me. Email will be in the description as well. You can send in your story if you'd like me to share it. This was Flash with Handyman Answers.